This is lesson 25F, part of your bonus unit for fabulous fiddle fundamentals. And this lesson, of course, is all about your backup bowings that you can use on this tune. Um, we're going to do two that you're familiar with, offbeat chops and the down up up chop groove. Okay, so that's all fine and dandy. Then I'm going to teach you a new one because we're we're focusing on the hokum rhythm and the hokum bowing. I'm going to teach you how to do what I call hokum chops. I love doing these ones and I hope you will too. Okay, so let's get started. Um, Let's go ahead and start with offbeat chops. I think this is probably the most common bowing used in bluegrass fiddling. Um, and remember, this has to be done at the frog, right? So it doesn't work so well up here. Nice short chops, okay? Offbeat chops. Um, well, you know how to do it. Let's just let's just try to do them together. First, we're going to do it just the chords without the melody then we'll add the melody in. If we do this at 72, and 72 is a half beat, a half note, then we have to go and just chop. This is more about the percussiveness of the offbeat chop than it is about the chord, really. But it's nice to have the chord in there, too. You ready? There's your chord chart. How many times per chord? Four. They're just off the beat now. You ready? Find your F chord. One, two, ready, go. Okay, I put a little bump on the end. Couldn't resist. Okay, are you ready to try it with the melody? It's pretty easy, isn't it? Now, this is tricky. We have to listen for the melody, that, that pickup. Remember the pickup we talked about? Mm. Bop, bop, bop. And only after you hear that downbeat, that's the, when you know that it's time to start your offbeats. <laughs> okay, this will be good practice for us. Here we go. Listen. talk about the down up up chop groove um, as you know we don't have to do the the whole bow pattern every chord or every bar so we don't have to go we could if we wanted to um, we really could I'm probably going to do it only on chord changes Okay, and I want to encourage you to do whatever you want to do. Okay, so you're going to hear me going. But 
You can do it on every measure if you want to. Okay, it's good to be different. Okay, let's try it without the melody first. You ready? One, two, ready, go. ahead and try it with the melody and this is easier because when you hear the pickup ba -da -dum, boom then you can play beat one along with the melody okay <laughs> all right here we go very common and solid backup bowings that you can use. Now let's just quickly learn the hokum um, chop, <laughs> okay? Um, you know how you have that little melody note that jumps out on the third note of every group? One, two, three, 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 four. That's what gives us the hokum chop. So we've got Listen to what it sounds like with the metronome. I was going a little too fast. Okay, now this bowing, this pattern came really easily to me. I don't know why. If it's really, really hard for you, it's just just frustrating, then skip it. Um, I don't know if this is even material for a beginner or not, but I'm just gonna show it to you because some of you will be lucky enough and it'll be easy for you. Others of you will have to work on it to get it. So what I'm doing, listen to this, I'm going one, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Do you want to try that with me without me counting and annoying you? And we'll do it together that way and then we'll try to put it together with the metronome. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and give you your fingerings so that you don't have to worry about it. So you can focus on your hokum pattern. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three, 
three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, and you don't have to do all down bows. Sometimes it might go too fast and you'll have to do some downs and some ups. Okay, I'm not saying that you have to do the same bow direction as me. Let's try it just one more time like that, okay? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, 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 four. One, two, three, 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 four. One, two, three, 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 four. One, two, three, one, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's try it with the metronome now. This means we're going this fast. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and annoy you and I'm going to count out loud and then you can practice this segment if, if it's helpful to you. Okay, ready? One. Two, one, two, and three, and go. One, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, 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 four, one, two, three, 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 four. Okay, let's try it at seventy-two together. We're gonna go through the whole A part and the whole B part. If you get off, just try to feel the groove and get back on with me. Okay, don't give up. All right. Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. C chord because we don't we don't want to that's too leading that implies that we're going on for another verse so I decided just to close with a C chord um, for the purposes of this video you can do whatever you want and then when you're playing with a band you'll have to know when the last verse is after someone gives the hup remember the hup um, then you would want to not do and just leave that out and play a plain old, a boring old C chord. Ready to try it with the melody? Here we go. Listen for the pickup. concludes this unit. I normally would have a lesson G and a lesson H, as you know, but you've gone through 24 units now. You know several ways to begin a tune. You know how to give potatoes. You know how to formulate an introduction. You know how to form a bridge. You know how to do t an ending of a tune. You can do a shave and a haircut. 
You can do a double shave and a haircut. You can do the Charlie Daniels ending. You can make up your own ending. You can, you know how to figure out how to change up a tune. You know that you can do rhythmic change-ups, registral change-ups. You can use ornaments. You can change bow patterns to add variety. You can add notes, like walking eighth notes. You can play fewer notes and simplify it to add variety. You have a whole toolbox full of the things you need now to pick any fiddle tune you want to learn and go through it systematically as I've shown you and you can learn any tune and make it just an amazing version and it'll be your own version. Okay, I want to congratulate you for sticking with it throughout 24 very big units. You now know 24 fiddle tunes backwards and forwards of a diverse repertoire. You know Irish tunes, American tunes, waltzes and jigs and the backup bowings that go with them you've learned a lot and I really really respect you for sticking with it through this whole whole course so congratulations you made it and I hope to see you playing and fiddling and doing your thing I'll see you around <laughs>